A History of Vector Analysis is a book on the history of vector analysis by Michael J. Crow, originally published by the University of Notre Dame Press. As a scholarly treatment of a reformation in technical communication, the text is a contribution to the history of science. In 2002, Crow gave a talk summarizing the book, including an entertaining introduction in which he covered its publication history and related the award of a Jean Scott Prize of $4,000. Crow had entered the book in a competition for a study on the history of complex and hypercomplex numbers 25 years after his book was first published. Summary of book The book has eight chapters. The first on the origins of vector analysis including ancient Greek and 16th and 17th century influences. The second on the 19th century William, Rowan, Hamilton and Quaternions. The third on other 19th and 18th century vectorial systems. The fourth on the general interest in the 19th century on vectorial systems including analysis of journal publications as well as sections on major figures and the views. The fifth on Josiah Will. Lard Gibbs, and Oliver Heaviside and their development of a modern system of vector analysis. In Chapter 6, Struggle for Existence, Michael J. Crow delves into the zeitgeist that pruned down quaternion theory into vector analysis on three-dimensional space. He makes clear the ambition of this effort by considering five major texts as well as a couple dozen articles authored by participants in the Great Vector Debate. These are the books, Elementary Treatise on Quaternions Peter Guthrie Tate Elements of Vector Analysis Josiah Willard Gibbs Electromagnetic Theory Oliver Heaviside Utility of Quaternions in Physics Alexander Macaulay Vector Analysis and Quaternions Alexander McFarlane 20 of the ancillary articles appeared in Nature. Others were in Philosophical Magazine, London or Edinburgh Proceedings of the Royal Society, Physical Review, and Proceedings of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. The authors included Cargill Gilston not in a half dozen other hands. The struggle for existence is a phrase from Charles Darwin's Origin of Species and Crow quotes Darwin. Young and rising naturalists will be able to view both sides of the question with impartiality. After 1901 with the Gibbs-Wilson Yale publication, Vector Analysis, the question was decided in favor of the vectorialists with separate jot and cross products. The pragmatic temper of the times set aside the four-dimensional source of vector algebra. Crow's Chapter 7 is a survey of 12 major publications in vector analysis from 1894 to 1910. Of these 12, seven are in German, two in Italian, one in Russian, and two in English, whereas the previous chapter examined a debate in English. The final chapter notes the influence of Heinrich Hertz, results with radio and the rush of German research using vectors. Joseph George Coffin of Mitten Clark University published his vector analysis in 1909, it too leaned heavily into applications. Thus Crow provides a context for Gibbs and Wilson's famous textbook of 1901. The eighth chapter is the author's summary and conclusions. The book relies on references in chapter end notes instead of a bibliography section. Crow also states that the bibliography of the Quaternion Society, and its supplements to 1912, already listed all the primary literature for the study. Summary of Reviews there were significant reviews given near the time of original publication. Stanley Goldberg wrote, The polemics on both sides make very rich reading, especially when they are spiced with the sarcastic wit of a heavy side, and the fervent, almost religious railing of a Tate. Morris Klein begins his 1969 review with Since historical publications on modern developments are rare, this book is welcome, and ends with the subtitle, The evolution of the idea of a vectorial system, is a better description of the contents than, the title proper, than William C. Waterhouse, picking up where Klein's review left off right in 1972, Crow's book on vector analysis seems a little anemic in comparison.
perhaps because its title is misleading. Crow does succeed in his goal of tracing the genealogy of the three space system, concluding that it was developed out of quaternions by physicists. In 2003 Sandro Caparini challenged Crow's conclusions by noting that geometrical representations of forces and velocities by means of directed line segments dot was already fairly well known by the middle of the 18th century in his essay Early Theories of Vectors. Caparini cites several sources, in particular Gattano Giorgini and his appreciation in an 1830 article by Michel Casals. Caparini goes on to indicate that moments of forces and angular velocities were recognized as vectorial entities in the second half of the 18th century.